In this video, I will show you the whole process, how you can use Olive, and we can even name it Beginner's Guide. <laughs> Let's go! What's up everybody, my name is Marcus and I'm someone who loves video editing. I know how to edit videos in Olive, I know how to edit videos in the Premiere, Sony Vegas, HitFilm Express, uh, DaVinci Resolve 15 and many more. Uh, what I really like about Olive, it's the simplicity, the easy way and also it's not really lagging, it's not, you don't drop frames here. In DaVinci, for example, it happens a lot of time that it's really hardcore on hardware, not Olive. And if I just think that this is just alpha stage, I mean, this program got a huge potential. And let's go. I will go with the whole beginning process of editing, what you can edit, transitions. Then I will go uh, to animations, how to add a text, how to work with the audio, and then late to the exporting. So we will cover everything. If you will have any problems or I will speak too fast or I don't know, write me down in the comments what you didn't understand, what would you like me to explain in a much deeper way and I will make a video on it. First, we need our media here. What you want to do is to go when you have your MP4 file or whatever file and we are going to grab it and I will just insert it here. Okay. And I got here myself a really huge file with video. So first, what we want to do is we, I'm going to teach you the icons here, the most important one. First one, with, uh, which I want to teach you is zoom out and zoom in. When I'm going to cl click zoom out, I'm zooming out on the file. Zoom in, I'm zooming out and zooming in. So it's pretty easy. The second thing, I want to teach you is how we can move with your file. Okay, and it's also pretty understandable. I'm just clicking and dragging it on. Then you can click on the right click on the timeline when you don't have anything and just click on the ripple, delete empty space and it will just move to the left. Now, when we have it, the most important thing is to how you can cut actually your videos. So we will try to find ourselves a riser tool or press C. I will just click like here and I already got cut it and also here and here. Now I'm going to press a pointer tool again or we can name it even selection tool. You just click on it and press delete. Click on it, delete. Click on it and delete. So right now we got ourselves uh, just one single clip. Let's say that we want to add a text into our video. So we will click here, add title, solid and bars, and you will see here a title. We will click on the title and then we can just, I'm just copying how long the title will be. And I have a title here. Right now I will click on the title. And right here, it will show the effects, what I want to have it. So first, uh, let's uh, change the text to title and edit text. Then I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to change the size of all our text by just clicking on it and grabbing it to left and right. Or you can just click on it. But be careful, if you want to change the text, if you want to change the resolution of your text, you need to have marked this, because if you go like this, nothing will happen. Okay, so I grab the text, I'm going to click on it, I'm going to write 125, okay, okay, and I got it here. Now we want to change a position of our text. So I will go on a position and I will just grab it out. I'm just moving it in. Really simple. Position. This was the position X and this will be the position I. And like this. Okay, and we actually got it. And this is this was really simple how we can actually do that. Now, when we have it, let's go to our normal 
media file to our video and I want to change I want to show you what you can do here first you can change the position of the video if you want to and let's go back undo now you can also rotate it if you want audio is really important because I will show you something if you want to increase or decrease your audio let's say that I have here um, and now for example if I go here to volume I will show you without any adjustment and now let's increase the volume okay but be careful be careful I don't know how loud it will be oh my god this will be really loud you could see it on the right side how large it is and now let's go to zero you can't even see it because it's really not that loud now what i want to show you is when i cut the video what you can do let's say that you have yourself a clip when you want to move you see that it's like locking to the clip before what you can do is unclick snapping and you can move it freely as you want and you can do whatever you want with it so i'm just going to let it be now another thing i want to show you is transitions there is and you can play around it the right now it's an alpha version and it's really great that you have the normal transition the cross dissolve here i think in the future you will have a plenty of other transitions and let's delete this one and when we zoom in you will have a cross dissolve here and you can also add a transition here cross dissolve and let's see how it looks like you can make it longer yep and we got it. these are the transitions what i want to show you now let's say that you want to animate something and this is pretty important let's animate our text we got here and i will show you how you can animate it i hope i don't speak too fast that it's pretty easy to understand because this program is really intuitive honestly i don't use any of these <laughs> like sleep tool or even a slide tool or hand tool i don't actually use them let's we have a title here and let's easy uh let's move our title for example we have it here and i want the title to to be here so from here it will come here wait a second here here so what i want to do is pretty easy let's go on the end of our text so we are in end of the text i'm just going to click again on my title and i will click the keyframe clock here i clicked it on the end i want it to be here and now on the beginning I will just move my red vertical line here and I will change the position. I will just move it up. I will just drag it in. And now what will happen? That this is a starting position and it will move slowly to the right side. And it's pretty easy, right? Also, you should see right now a tutorial up here how to do the animations. I explained it really deeply in the video. So if you want, you can go watch it also. Now, when we have it, when we have animations, now we have also how you can increase and decrease your volume. What you want to learn is how you can speed up and slow down your video. Again, it's really pretty easy. When you click on your video and audio, right click and speed and duration now let's make it slower again i'm just i click on it and i just hold my mouse one click and i'm just going to grade it to 50 percent it will be much longer now and let's see it
you can see you can even hear it at the sound that it's much much slower right and now let's make it faster again right click speed and duration 150 percent and it will be really fast now <laughs> i really like the voice okay now let's see some effects we can do so let's uh, just change the speed duration to 100 percent or 99 it's okay and now when we have the effects you can blur it as you can see uh it when you just do the effect it will add to your effects here so right now we have a blur but we want it to be deleted so delete opa go away effects now blur we got also radio and if you see that's like color you have color color correction and you can play around it if you want It's like the, every file, every, every video, it's different. When you have a face, you want the exposure and contrast much different. I'm just messing with it. Let's see how it looks like. <laughs> yeah it's it's much more light it seems like cartoon <laughs> okay let's click on it again i like the coloring distort you can shake it if you want and i'm going to make a tutorial on this how you can shake the video let's see how it looks like intensity oh mama. so this is the shake effect let's go for another i don't know you have a swirl and you can play around it but i don't actually use it if you're a meme channel or something like that definitely go for it or look at that i'm going to show you something i'm just going to mess around with it because i want to show you something really crazy like if you would animate it that would seem so damn cool <laughs> okay let's go for another one i'm not going to spend time on that because <laughs> i just like to have fun with the birch okay right click delete and wave this is pretty like most of the people know it. Chroma key. Uh, chroma key is uh, when you're working with the green screen. Let's say that you have a meme or something like that. You want to uh, add a chroma key for your background. So that's pretty important. I will make also a video on that. I need to make a note so I can teach you hallway because I don't have any footage with the green screen. But I will I'll make sure that you will find in the description. This program is just awesome. But what I want to show you now is to how you can render, how you can move, how you can work with the rendering. All you have to do is just click on a file and go to export. When you are on an export, you have two options. Always go with a MPG for video and range in and out or entire sequence. If you would like, to have be like let's say that you want to uh, export only half of your video or just a little bit of it just in and out and now you need to be with your red vertical line i will be here i will press i and then i will place the vertical line here and i will press o voila and if i would render it would render only this part now another thing 
is when you go to export and we don't want to in and out we want to entire sequence entire video now what you want to do is just go with the frame rate to 60 or 30 this depends what kind of uh video you were recording let's say most games and when i'm recording myself it's on 30 uh, many games are on a 60 and when you are recording outside for example with your mobile or even a nature or drone footage it's like 24. but the most important thing is the quality you can see quality factor here uh, the zero is the most epic quality the 51 it's really bad quality I, make a, I made a video on the best render settings and the best render settings you can have are between 10 to 15. I will show you exactly why. I have myself here a five footage. This number five is the same footage I rendered. This is quality 50, really bad. This four is quality 30. So four is here quality 30. Let's see it. Also, not that good. But the rendering was really fast. You can see it even of size. The size is really small. For free was 20. You can see the 20 quality, it's good. But it's missing something. Now the 2 is 13 and 1 is 0. You always go with a zero quality when you have really plenty of colors, when you want it to be most quality as you want, because the two is enough. The quality 12 from, from 10 to 15 is the best. So let's see the two. It's completely amazing. It's just amazing. And now, number one. The difference is not that big between, between 0 and 12, 0 and 13, 0 and 14. And now, when you have your all five files, look at that. 0 quality got 200 megabytes. 12 quality, which is really similar, like identical, is 25,000 megabytes. So, this was it. I will, I hope I explained it well uh, because this program got such a potential. If the uh, developers will work on it and if they will create much, much more improvements in this program, it will be phew, next Sony Vegas or next Adobe Premiere. I honestly believe in that. Thank you all. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, write it in the comments and also you can support me with subscribe. I'll be really thankful for that. Thank you all everybody and goodbye.